Hello, friend. Welcome to class. This month's theme is called Under the Sea. Today's lesson is called Where Are the Sea Creatures? We will learn about and move through prepositional words and phrases. We will explore the different types of eaters living in the sea. We will experiment with imitating the movements of various sea creatures. Today you will need your water, one hoop, and your play mat. Hello friends! I am so happy to see you. Welcome to Get Up and Shine. Miss London and Sunshine are so excited to have fun moving and learning with you all. But first, let's review our three rules. Rule number one, stay on your own play mat and keep all of your materials at the front of your play mat and do not touch them until Miss London tells you to. Should we stay on our own play mat? Yes! Should we play with our materials before Miss London tells you to? No. Rule number two, if the skill is too hard for you, I want you to keep trying. All you can do is try your best. When the video is over, you can replay the video another time and try it again. In rule number three, have fun! Hello, friends! Hello, friends! Hello, friends! How you doing today? Put it on your pizza. 
jumps off. Go to the other side, grab some cheese, and put it on your pizza. Reach up tall, and reach forward. What else should we put on our pizza? That sounds yummy. Go ahead and put it on your pizza. Close your oven. Turn it on. Click, click. Now let's lay back and cook our pizza. Can you count to five with me? One, two, three, four, five. Ding, ding, ding. Pizza's ready. Put your pizza on your table. Eat with one hand. And drink with the other. Shake the crumbs off. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. Now put your dish in the dishwasher. Lift one leg and down. Lift the other leg and down. Very good. Have a seat with me on your play mat. Let's make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with our feet. <laughs> put, peanut, put peanut butter on one foot. And jelly on the other. Now smash them together. <laughs> Reach down and smell your feet. Ew, stinky feet. What about your right foot? Woo! Stinky feet! And what about your left foot? Oh, those are some smelly feet! <laughs> are you ready to go on our adventure? Seatbelt on! Click, click! Grab your feet! And let's rock forward, backward, and all the way around. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! Hey, look! We've made it to the beach. That can't be right. We need to find a way to make it under the sea. travel under the water. Follow me. Okay, come on inside of my submarine. Do you want to explore the deep blue sea? Let's take a ride in my submarine. We'll go under the ocean, under the ocean. Take a ride under the ocean with me in my submarine. Do you want to explore the deep blue sea? Let's take a ride in my submarine. We'll climb down the ladder. Climb down the ladder, take one step at a time, and you will see what's inside of my submarine. Do you want to explore the deep blue sea? Let's take a ride in my submarine. We'll drive through the ocean, drive through the ocean, take your time. We don't want to be seen. That's the whole point of a submarine. Do you want to explore the deep blue sea? Let's take a ride in my submarine. 
will look out the periscope out of the periscope take a look above the waters the land we will see we're having so much fun in my submarine now that we've made it under the sea grab one hoop and drive the submarine with me Let's go! <gasps> Whoa! Look at all of our sea animal friends! I see a green sea turtle. Green sea turtles are herbivores. Herbivores eat mostly plants. Green sea turtles like to eat seagrass and algae from the coral reefs. Where do you see the green sea turtle? The green sea turtle is swimming above the coral reef. I bet he wants to eat the plants. Let's pretend to be a green sea turtle and stand above the coral reef to eat the plants. Stand up, please. Let's pretend the hoop is the coral reef. Place it on the floor. Now, Pretending to be a green sea turtle, let's stand above the coral reef and eat our plants. Hands down. Mm. Are you above the coral reef? That was so yummy! Mmm! Grab a hold of your hoop! Let's keep exploring! Let's take a look out of our periscope. Bring your hands in front of your eyes. Let's look to our left, to our right, and up. <gasps> Whoa! Look at the cool dolphins! Dolphins are carnivores. Carnivores eat other animals. Dolphins like to eat fish, squid, jellyfish, and more. Where do you see the dolphins? The dolphins are jumping in and out of the water. Let's pretend to be dolphins jumping in and out of the water. Leave your hoop on the floor and stand up with me. Let's pretend to be a dolphin. We'll use the hoop as our water. Show me how you jump in your hoop. Show me how you jump out of your hoop. Jump in, jump out. Jump in. Very good! Let's try it again sideways. Are you standing on the side of your hoop? Very good. Jump in. Jump out. Jump in. Jump out! Awesome! Now let's try it on the other side. Are you standing on the other side of your hoop with me? 
Okay, follow me. Jump in, jump out. Jump in, jump out. Wow, very good job practicing jumping in and out of your hoop with me. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, great job, me. Great job, me. Shall we keep exploring? Grab your hoop! <sighs> hey look! There's our crab friend! Crabs eat just about anything. This is called an omnivore. Crabs like to eat fish, shrimp, algae, and even worms. <laughs> Where do you see the crab? The crab is walking behind the coral reef. Let's pretend to be crabs and walk behind the coral reef. Leave your hoop on the ground. We will pretend like our hoop is the coral reef again and we are the crabs walking behind it. Take your hands and place them behind you. Feet in front of you, flat on the floor. Use your hands and your feet to push your bottom off the ground. Very good. Let's crab walk from side to side. Are you ready? Follow me. Open, close, open, close. Other side. Open, close, open, close. Again. Open, close, open, close. One more time. Open, close. Open, close. Sit down on your bottom. <laughs> Very good. Give Miss London a high five. All aboard. Let's explore one more. <laughs> I think we've landed over the jellyfish. Jellyfish are passive eaters. That means they eat whatever they can fit into their mouths as they swim through the ocean. But they do enjoy small shrimp and tiny fish. Where do you see the jellyfish? The jellyfish are under the submarine. Let's pretend to be jellyfish and jiggle under the submarine. <laughs> Stand up on your knees. Now grab your hoop and bring it over your head. The hoop is now our submarine. Let's jiggle and pretend to be jellyfish under the hoop. And freeze. Woo! You must have really strong arms, friend. It's time to take a water break. It's time for a 30 second water break, friend. We need water to boost our energy and keep our bones healthy.
We just practice prepositional words and phrases. A preposition helps us find out where or when something is in relation to something else. We discovered that the sea turtle floated above the coral reef. The dolphins jumped in and out of the water. The octopus were under the submarine and the crabs were behind the coral reefs. Let's continue practicing our preposition words by filling in the blank of the sentences. The crab is where in relation to the yellow fish. Is the crab under the yellow fish? No, the crab is behind the yellow fish. Next sentence. The clownfish is where in relation to the seahorse and sea potato. Is the clownfish next to the seahorse and sea potato? No. The clownfish is between the seahorse and sea potato. Let's try one more. The plants are where in relation to the sea animals? Are the plants inside of the sea animals? No. The plants are under the sea animals. You are so smart for completing the sentences. Great job, friend. It's game time, friend. Now that we know what prepositions are, for this game, we will use our hoop to practice more prepositional phrases. You have 10 seconds to grab one hoop. your hoop on the floor. Are you ready? Follow me. Stand in your hoop. Stand tiptoe behind your hoop. Stand on one leg next to your hoop. Walk around your hoop. Hold your hoop above your head. Very good. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, great job, me. Great job, me. Miss London and Sunshine are so proud of you, friend. Today, we learned the different kind of eaters under the sea. We also practiced preposition words and acted out different prepositional phrases using our bodies. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, great job, me. Great job, me. <laughs> Until next time, get up and shine. Today's ending song is called, A Sailor Went to the Sea. Sing it with me. A sailor went to the sea, sea, sea. To see what she could see, see, see. But all that she could see, see, see was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. Let's sing it one more time. A sailor went to the sea, see, see. To see what she could see, see, see. 
But all that she could see, see, see was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. <laughs> Great job. A common Edip hand sign is called the shui shui. This gesture is used to tell someone to slow down. When used by an adult to a child, that usually means just wait until we get home. Take the palm of your hand, bring all of your fingers together, and lift your hands up and down. Don't forget to go out and tell a friend what you learned today. Bye, friends!